Hello and welcome back to another video. Today we're talking about habits. Perhaps bad habits that you may be forming at the piano that you're not yet aware of. And then we're going to look at their corresponding good habits. So we're going to look at three bad habits. Uh, one for mind, one for body and one for sound. And their corresponding good habits that we can be forming instead. The ideas in this video will suit pianists no matter what their level. They're ones that I have to remind my students and myself of all of the time. I'm Dominic from PianoMentoring.com and if you haven't already, please do hit the subscribe button and the notification bell to keep up to date with all of our latest videos. So the first bad habit that we're going to talk about today is to do with sound. And it's about not really listening to what you're playing. A lot of pianists I find are very concerned when they're learning um, about their technique and their hands and reading the music and everything, and they actually forget to listen to the music. So one of the best ways that you can improve is by recording your own music and being your own teacher. What you can do is just write notes like a teacher would on what you can improve. Even writing down all of the different elements in your performing that you'd like to improve, as simple as dynamics, articulation, the correct notes, making sure you've got the right balance between hands, evenness, and so on. And then once you've created this checklist, you can go through and tick them off or write down notes of how you could improve the next time you recorded it. After you've recorded in this way and you're used to hearing the recording and listening back to your music, you can then do that in real time when you're playing and make adjustments as you go. The second bad habit is to do with your mind. It's about not really being prepared to play. I find that a lot of students have a practice session and then at the end of the session they'll run through their piece of music. But what you want to do really is prepare to perform that at all times. You want to be able to perform it when you're really tired, when you're really nervous, and that way, under pressure, you will still be able to perform. The corresponding good habits that I would suggest that you try and implement would be to have a practice schedule. Know with confidence that you are practicing in exactly the way that you want to. Write down at the beginning of your practice what you're going to do and exactly for how long. That way, when you come to perform, you'll have the peace of mind and the confidence that you have done everything as well as you could and in the best way that you could. The third bad habit we're going to talk about today is to do with your body. It's about being tense when you play and not having the correct setup and seating position. Being mindful about how you play and how you approach the instrument is crucial to getting the most out of it. If you want to make sure that you've got the right setup and you're not tense when you play, do check out my video on tension, which I'll link at the end of the video. If you haven't already, please do subscribe and hit the notification bell for more tips and tricks at the piano.